So how did that change occur? What, what moved the court in those cases? And it took a while, so you're not even talking about the same people changing those rulings. Yeah, so... But, it, but how does that work? Because obviously that's a process that, that takes some time. It takes conversation. It's, it's not just something that happens between nine folks in robes over at the, at the Supreme Court. Right, so it, it happens over a, so often over a long period of time. Sometimes it's quick. But it tends to happen when the court realizes they made a mistake initially, that their predictions, their factual predictions about the way the world works just weren't so, that their understanding of the language just wasn't right. So um, look, it takes a lot for every one of us to admit, hey, I got it wrong, right? That's something that human beings aren't always so great at admitting and acknowledging. Um, but they tend to do it when they realize, again, that, that they got the doctrine wrong, that they didn't read the language the right way, that they made some wrong guesses about the facts or how the world would work. Um, and that when they look at those things together, they say, actually, we picked the wrong rule. Um, and some people, some justices even, have said, oh, people won't respect the Supreme Court if it ever corrects itself. And I always thought that was kind of silly, right? Like, we're all human. We all make mistakes. Institutions make mistakes. I have far more respect for the court when it's willing to say, you know what? That old rule that we said, we, we blew it on the last one. We're going to try to get it right now. I think that's the way most people approach it. I don't know if you've heard this phrase, uh, the mark of an intelligent person is to change their mind when presented with new persuasive information. Um, I think that's what's at stake here is the reality that those are incredibly intelligent people chosen by um, a process that helps us choose people who are qualified and who represent knowledgeable and, and reasonable um, beliefs. And I think that their expertise, the same way that we're subject matter experts on religious liberty, they're subject matter experts on, their con on the Constitution and the process and the powers that they do have and they don't have, um, that is important. And that is what allows them to change their mind or not or, and to try to get the facts right and the law right.